Hello, this is Xavier Sockington, and this YouTube video is going to show you how to connect Skype Voice into Second Life Voice and vice versa. So, when we get done with this, you're actually the person that's in Skype is going to be able to talk to someone in SL, and the person in SL is going to talk, be able to talk to the person in Skype, um, as well as you being able to talk to both the person in Skype and SL seamlessly without having to like toggle your microphone or, or switch settings or anything like that. Now this is a totally free way to stream voice into SL. We're actually not streaming anything, we're going to actually use Second Life's talk function in order to get the Skype sound into Second Life. So there's three pieces of software that you need to be able to use this. Obviously Second Life needs to be installed, Skype needs to be installed, and the last piece is of this VAC, which stands for Virtual Audio Cable. In this YouTube video, I'll put a link to the um, to another YouTube video that I actually watched um, that is basically talking about this same subject, and they have links to where you can download the VAC from. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have enough cables or enough lines. Um, open in our control panel. So I'm going to, I have Windows 2007 so I have to run this as, a, as an administrator otherwise it doesn't do anything. So the only thing that you need to mess around with on this screen is to make your cables number 4. I believe the default is 2. You know I'll just hit the set you'll see that you know, I only have two cables here. I'm going to make that a 4. and then I'm just gonna hit exit. Once I've done that, I'm gonna need to open up seven of these audio repeater sessions. Okay. What the audio repeaters do is they take those different cables and they actually repeat the sound going into the cable to another cable or to another line. I think I might have opened too many here. Now for this video I actually can't um, do the whole step otherwise my voice when I'm recording this is going to get all kind of screwed up so I'll just kind of go through the steps show you what you need to do. Um, again we're going to do seven different ones here so the first one is line one to your speakers. Now I suggest for your speakers that you have it go into your headset, not into your actual computer speakers. Otherwise there's a chance that your computer speakers will get thrown into your microphone and everybody will hear an echo. So do for your speakers make sure it's going into some sort of um, headset device. Okay. Now as soon as you do that you just hit the start button. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do line three to speakers. Then we're going to do line one to line four. I'm going to do my microphone to line three. And my microphone to line four. I'm going to do line 1 to line 2 and line 3 to line 2. Okay. So now I'm all set up. On a, now on all of these different windows I'd hit my start after I selected both of them. Okay. You'll see if I hit start here you're going to get these lines here. If there is sound feeding into either into line three and going to line two, you'll actually see volume bars going up and down and down in this section here. Okay. So again, all of these all that these audio repeaters are doing is they're just taking sound and they're repeating it over to a, a different channel or to a different cable. Okay. The magic really comes into play when you have when you start setting up your second life okay now in second life I'm in Firestorm uh, version 4.22 I'm just gonna open up my preferences window 
in your sound and media tab in voice settings you want to click on this audio device settings okay. you're going to see you have an input and you have an output for your input you want to put down line 4 and for your output you want to put down line 3 and you just hit OK now in Skype you want to do a very similar thing you want to go to tools options audio settings for your microphone which is your input you want to select line 3 and for your speakers which is your output you want to select line 1 and you just hit save now in order for the person to talk from Skype into SL you actually have to enable your voice when they talk in Skype you're gonna hear them in your headset when you talk in your headset, it's going to be piping it into SL along with the Skype voice. Okay. The next screen you're going to see is a, is a little diagram of, you know, basically the reasons behind we did all these settings. It'll kind of flow chart out, um, you know, why did we select, you know, line one to speakers and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to get into more depth of the rationale behind why we set it up the way we did. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck with this. It's, it's really fun to, to have uh, you know people out of world talking in world and, and vice versa. So good luck.